Hi, my name is Joe Miller, and since leaving my role at an American investment bank four years ago, uh, I've helped more than 100 people secure offers at Britain's best business schools um, for master's programs. In this video, I'm going to run you th through five quick tips on how to get into LBS's prestigious MBA program. The tips in this video apply to both the accelerated 12-month program as well as their full 15 to 21 month MBA. The first tip that I have for you is to connect with LBS early. LBS run their process like any pure business school. They encourage you to get in touch with their admission staff who will happily meet you for a coffee chat at a hotel in London or at a city around the world. Um, they also encourage you to get in touch with alumni or student ambassadors either at their events or online. You can connect via LinkedIn. In fact, LBS don't hide the fact they want you to do this. Um, they have a space on the application form for you to mention it. So make sure as early as you can, even the summer before applying, you start connecting with people at LBS right away. The second tip is get on top of the GMAT early. The main reason I see my candidates or, or other candidates that sp I speak to miss the deadlines that LBS set on their, on their website is because of the GMAT. Understand that the GMAT is a process. For some people, it takes two or three weeks to prepare. For others, it can take three or four months to prepare. So start as early as you can. My advice is often, if you're not sure, if you've not sat admissions style tests before, start in the summer before you apply. If you don't have time to apply, if you're applying late in rounds three or four, then my advice is instead, get in touch with LBS, ask them about their waiver, Ask them if it's OK for you to submit your GMAT score after the process. If they like your application, if you're successful in the interview, they will often make the GMAT a condition of your offer rather than a prerequisite in the application. The third tip for your MBA application is create a unique identity. As with most business school applications, it is absolutely critical that you tell LBS where you are in your career now and where this MBA is going to allow you to transition to. You need to strike the right balance between sounding ambitious and being realistic. Too many candidates want to say that they're going to start their own business, they're going to start their own fund, they're going to become the CEO of a big organisation. And it's simply unrealistic for most. Instead, start with where you are now and look at the next step. Find the person on LinkedIn. Find the actual role that you would be doing. That is far more likely to convince LBS that you're worthy of their course. And remember, business schools like LBS care about their ranking. They care about their career and employment statistics. And they are looking for that when they judge your application. The fourth tip is know exactly what LBS are looking for in terms of your traits, your characteristics, your competencies. Three of the eight criteria they look for in the application, in the interview, and in the, and in the two 500 word, word essays that you submit are leadership, teamwork, and multiculturalism. They need to see evidence of all three of these things. They need to see examples of where you've used them in the real world. And they need to see how you are going to use the course to develop them further. A great answer might be, in my last role as an associate, I was able to use leadership skills managing my analyst. Then link it to the course by perhaps mentioning their leadership institute or one of their leadership programs, one of the electives. This kind of link is going to make your application far stronger and far more substantiated. Fifth and finally, please prepare for the interview. The LBS MBA is unique in that you will be interviewed twice. The first interview will be a Kira Talent pre-recorded interview where they will ask you two 90-second questions. One of them will be sent to you beforehand, and it's about what you stand to gain from the MBA. You should rehearse that, that answer uh, again and again and again until you've absolutely mastered it because you know they're going to ask you it. The second question tends to look for a star. It will often focus on one of those three areas, multiculturalism, teamwork, or leadership and ask you to tell them, tell them about a time when you used one of those skills. Please rehearse this. My advice is always work backwards. Think about three or four situations that you've been in, in your past, in your career, in your education that really stand out, and then learn how to tailor those 
to the question that they ask in, in the real interview. After the Kira Talent screening, you will then have to schedule a real interview with a real person. Unlike the MIM and the MFA course, where these tend to be with alumni, at the MBA level and also at the EMBA level, these tend to far more often be with admission staff. Please make sure you look at who's interviewing you first, look them up on LinkedIn, learn a little bit about them, and then make sure that you have prepared properly for that interview. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. If you found it useful, please do subscribe and like it. If you need help with your MBA application to LBS, whether it be with the entire application or just with that all important interview process at the end, please do reach out to our team of experts at the profs and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.